I think just like I have two little, two little girls and I make sure that I tell them how proud I am of them. I'm not gonna get emotional, but I wanna tell you all that we are very proud of you because we try to do things in our role as legislators to help people. Um, and sometimes we think we're doing the right thing and it might not always be that way, but that's why we look for uh, people like uh, um, Governor McGreevy, who I have to say still does not get enough credit for the work that he has done and for bringing And for, and for really bringing an issue that I think we all talked about for a long time, especially coming from an urban city, but that a lot of people were really kind of ashamed or embarrassed to bring up and talk about. You know, there's no one in this room that doesn't know someone that has a mental illness, that has a drug problem, that has an alcohol problem. And I think it's finally okay for us to talk about these issues. And now the important thing is, how do we find the resources, because um, I know that that's where he brings me in, to make sure that our programs are really you know, running and, and have the adequate funding. And that, that is always the bottom line problem. A, quite a few years ago, Governor McGreevy, I had just gotten into the legislature, and I, I always tell this story because I never forget it. You brought an inmate <clears throat> who was, he was no longer an inmate, he was out and he had gone through the program and he had said something that I will never forget. When you've been incarcerated for 20 years, you get a bus pass. You don't know how to get on the bus. You don't know how to use a cell phone. You don't know where your family is. What are you gonna do? And I leave all of you with that because it's important to read what was written and for us to try to act on some of the recommendations that were provided in the reports.